Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the channel, or oh, welcome back if you are subscribed, I love every single one of you little bastards. It's Zal here, and I'm back again with another Warframe profile reaction video, kind of just starting where we left off. So we covered Auburn, Loki, Banshee, Mag, Nova, and Rhino and Nyx. I only really liked Rhino, Mag? and Loki so far. We're gonna start from Frost and then obviously continue our way through. So yeah, welcome to part two, get yourself a cup of let's see what's gonna be the next Warframe that I'm gonna gonna take after we've gone. Kinda looks like a scuff rhino. This is Frost. Colder and deadlier than space itself. Heavily armored and a master of sub-zero temperatures. The battlefield is his playground. That's cool. I assume that's an alt. are built for both offensive and defensive roles. Freeze emits a directed energy blast that stops the target in its tracks, Ooh. covering it in ice. That looks satisfying. That was pretty really satisfying. Sends a torrent of razor sharp ice crystals towards That's enemies. Oh, so cool. Massive damage too, and slowing its target. Snow globe is the perfect defensive element. Anything caught inside will be surrounded by an impenetrable sphere of protection, deflecting all incoming projectiles. Oh wow. Tread lightly, Tenno. Avalanche summons a flurry of ice and snow that instantly freezes and shatters all enemies That's caught cool. in its radius. Frost can be specialized into either an offensive or defensive tank. Upgrading Ice Wave and Avalanche, as well as installing Strength and Range Mods, will allow Frost to provide an even greater offense. Snow Globe and Freeze, combined with Duration, Range, and Strength Mods, will strengthen his defensive capabilities. Frost can protect or punish. The decision is yours. <laughs> I like Frost. Frost is very, very cool. That looks like an insane Warframe. Currently, probably between Frost and Loki at the moment. That was a really, really cool Warframe. Everything just looks so satisfying, especially the second ability and the ultimate. I like the fact that he has the penetrable orb of ice that just nothing can shoot through like that's pretty OP that's pretty cool I don't know how practical it is but it's it's pretty good maybe it's, it's worth using that last couple of seconds before you die in a defense mission as uh, he was showing there maybe maybe but it's, it's either way very cool Warframe. Vault. I hear good things about Vault a lot of people seem to like Vault. Without further ado it's it's Vault. It's Vault ladies and gents can you believe it? It's Vault. This is Bolt, a versatile warrior. Okay. A master in tactics, he can be a shocking agent of death. Bolt's abilities harness the raw and unpredictable power of electricity. Shock emits a bolt of intense chain lightning, stunning and potentially killing its target. Here we go. Enemies. Here we go. Speed okay. Energizes Volt and his nearby teammates, providing increased speed and dexterity for a limited time. Electric Shield deploys a wall of energy, providing cover in any situation. Okay. It also adds limited electrical damage to most outgoing projectiles that oh, wow. pass through the shield. A storm is coming, Tenno. Overload releases an intense energy field, destroying nearby electronics while channeling severe electrical damage to all enemies caught within its radius. Volt, by nature, is incredibly effective against the Corpus, but the use of mods will increase his usefulness against any faction. Adding a Strength mod will increase the damage output of Shock and the compounding electrical effects of Overload. Equipping range and duration mods will help the rest of Volt's powers become tactical assets on the battlefield. Volt's arsenal is powerful and electrifying. Handle with care, Tenno. <laughs> Okay, Vault's also cool. I like the third ability with the shield. I'm assuming if you were to 
go and kill old dark energy vor in the in the void you get a 60 percent mod as sin of sloth says you get a 60 percent damage mod on an element and then you upgrade that mod i don't know if you can upgrade them uh correct me if i'm wrong in the comments that must be pretty electrify <laughs> i mean come on am i right am i, am I right hey hey yeah i'm right I'm right. Pretty electrifying. It's a good Warframe. I can see why people like it. Looks like satisfying gameplay. It looks fun to play, actually. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's go on the list. Ash. I have seen a few people. I have seen a few people play this. A subscriber called Elusive Kite, I think I saw use this. When I think of Ash, I think of the League of Legends Ash. For some reason, whenever Ash is in a game, they tend to be an archer. So it'll be good to see if Ash is based on an archer. Definitely doesn't look like it's based on an archer at all. <laughs> just, just putting that out there. This okay. This is Ash. Lethal and elusive. Quickly moving into and out of combat, he can be an unseen and deadly force. Ash is a reflection of ancient history and his abilities an homage to the past. Seeking out targets, Shuriken launches a spinning blade of death. Smokescreen allows Ash to instantly vanish while stunning and blinding enemies with a cloud of smoke. Teleport brings Ash directly in front of his target, allowing him to engage in melee close combat. Keep moving, Tenno. Bladestorm teleports Ash between a number of nearby enemies, delivering lethal strikes along the way. Utilizing mods to complement Ash's abilities will help him be neither seen nor heard on the battlefield. Equipping a Strength mod will most benefit Shuriken and Bladestorm. Paired with an Increased Range mod, all of Ash's abilities will become more effective. Adding Increased Speed Stamina and Radar mods will give Ash a distinct advantage over his enemies. Ash can remain unseen, but his effects on the battlefield are felt by all. Ooh. Keep an eye out, Tenno. Okay. Ash is also cool. So we're, we're getting to a point now where all these Warframes are really, really good. I like Ash. It seems to be very much this little thing here, ninjas. Pretty much based on a ninja. It's a ninja Warframe. And it looks cool. It looks really, really good. I imagine it's hard to build. Maybe it's to do with a quest. I'm not too sure. I was expecting more of an archer. It seems a lot of players do seem to play an archer with him. And I can see why. It looks like a really, really cool Warframe. The ultimate itself looks amazing. I don't know if it has that cinematic effect. I'm assuming not. I'm assuming it doesn't. Um, for obvious reasons, but so far the last three Warframes have been really cool But these three I've heard before so that might be why I haven't heard of these two. So I'm assuming they're gonna be crap <laughs> Let's have a look This is Necros manipulator of souls The Tenno incarnation of shaman he is a very cool looking. Like right from the off, very, very cool looking. The practitioner of death. Necro's abilities meddle in the unknown, instilling terror on the battlefield. Soul Punch forces the target's soul out of its body, turning it into a deadly projectile, damaging all in its path. Terrify casts fear into nearby enemies, causing them to flee in terror and become susceptible to increased damage. Desecrate gives a chance the nearby corpses of fallen enemies will drop additional loot, providing extra assistance in the heat of battle. Bring out your dead, Tenno. Shadows of the Dead resurrects shadow versions of your fallen enemies to fight alongside you for a limited time. Okay. Necros can cast a darker shadow over the battlefield with the use I think I'm going to be skipping the mods bit because this is all changed. I don't think I need to see any of this. I am going to skip this. Necros possesses the battlefield tunnel. Death is his playground. Not as good as the 
the other three we've just seen but it's it's a good concept i like the look of it and i imagine skin wise it looks pretty cool and especially when combined with some weapon types maybe like a scythe is there a scythe in warframe i'm assuming they have a scythe they must have some kind of scythe maybe they have a look like a scythe who is next <laughs> trinity never had a trinity i don't know what trinity is i don't know what trinity looks like so let's get into it Ooh. Okay. Lady this of Pink. Is Trinity, the healer, the no. equalizer. Jesus. Specializing in support. She oh God. Mm, yeah, I'm already not. I'm already not keen. Trinity's abilities focus on restoration and preservation rather than destruction. The well of Life highlights and transfers health from its targets to Trinity or any ally who attacks it. Providing restoration in the heat of battle. Energy Vampire radiates energy to nearby players every few seconds while causing damage to its target. Link reduces incoming damage away from Trinity and transfers it to nearby enemies at full strength. Did you call for backup, Tenno? Blessing immediately restores the health and shields of all teammates regardless of their position, with the addition of temporary invulnerability. Trinity oh, wow. is an incredible support frame, and the <coughs> mods will help to increase her ability to assist her out area of effectiveness of her healing abilities. Trinity is a must for any high stakes mission. She'll save your life, Tenno. It's, it's not my playstyle, so I would never play as a healer myself or a support. Uh, I don't mind playing as tank, I don't play, mind playing as DPS, that's not a problem. Uh, but a healer just isn't my playstyle at all. So for the players out there that do enjoy the healing role or do enjoy the healer sort of class or player type, warframe type, fair enough. It's, it's fair enough. I did like the ult. The ult is very, very powerful by the looks of it. I don't know if that's my must. Maybe that's changed. Has that changed now? I don't know. But that seems really OP. That seems really, really cool. That's the only reason I would get her. But even then, I probably would only ever use her if I was playing with a group of four continuously. To me, it's a boring playstyle. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it, personally. I'm not saying you're boring. I'm just saying it doesn't connect up here with myself. This is a guy who likes Rhino. So, you know, you can take the piss out of me as well. Valkyr, we've seen. I'm not going to do a Valkyr, but let's let's skip straight to Ember. This is Ember, destructive and deadly. Sacrificing safety for reckless abandon, she erupts into battle. Ember's abilities offset her fragility with pure offensive capability. Fireball launches a fiery projectile towards your target, dealing high damage upon impact and moderate damage to any nearby who stumble onto the lingering flames. Okay. Accelerant blasts outwards from Ember, stunning nearby enemies while also making them more susceptible to fire damage. Fire Blast slams down a persistent ring of fire, dealing high initial damage to enemies within its radius when cast and over time. Some just want to watch the world burn, Tenno. World on Fire follows Ember, causing fiery explosions while dealing high damage over time to a limited number of targets. Wow. Ember, by nature. Ember's presence on the battlefield is devastating. Mind the heat, Tenno. <laughs> I like that. I imagine the DPS output on that warframe is absolutely insane. I mean, if you have loads of fire mods and damage, like multiplier mods, it's it could hurt. It could do some damage. Like it's meant to. Like it's meant to. Part 2 is full of some good warframes. That was a good run. Part 2 definitely my favourite uh, in terms of warframes. So yeah, I'd like Ember, I like Ash, I like Bolt, and I like Frost. Uh, Necros and Trinity just aren't my cup of tea. We've played Zelkir and I've explained about Valkyr uh, in the previous video, if not this video, I can't remember. Custom Bevy's got some alcohol in it. Been your boys out, leave a comment, do subscribe if you haven't or if you are new here. We do play Warframe as much as we possibly can. We do reactions just like this one. If you have any suggestions, oh god I'm slowing my speech, that's not good. Do leave a comment, do leave a like or a dislike if you didn't like the video and do let me know why we are welcome to a little bit of feedback. But thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.
Bye-bye.